me. Help me. I'll see you in a minute. Hi! Whew. Shut this, it's a bit noisy. I feel like we should start this vlog downstairs, so let's go! <sighs> so, hi everybody. As you can see, I am in a different house. Uh, I have moved into a cottage and I've never done like living alone diaries before, obviously, um, but I feel like this is the perfect house to start my living alone diaries and stuff. Um, but first of all, I want to say, I will discuss the struggles of like moving alone and just how I felt recently in a few minutes or whatever. But I kind of want to give you a little small snippet of a house tour, not anything too big. Um, but I just want to show you around like the rooms really quickly. So, uh, this, I haven't got the right lens on my camera annoyingly, but this room here is the living room, I mean dining room. It's kind of got a nice little rug this weird lamp i've taken the mirrors little plants and just this here i've got all this room for activities basically and there's also a little selfie mirror here which obviously i like um you've also got my record player and my cows and my records and a little lamp the garden is friggin amazing to be honest um i'll do a little tour here is my uh, relaxing area. We've got a little fireplace here. Um, and it's just got like weird gargoyles and just really cool stuff everywhere. Oh, shit. Fireplace there. A little man here watching over me, making sure I'm all right. This is where the fairies live. Um, I've only spotted them like a couple of times, but they're so cute. Um, and they just live here. Producer watches over them. Like she's there as a punishment, of course. So I slept in dog poo, but it was just this moss, mossy stuff. Little devil here. I thought I was the only little devil, but clearly not. <laughs> a little dragon up here. He's really cool. And then more dragons. Garage here. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, it's really cool in here because we've got like all the weights and then I'm gonna put a punch bag here. not showing off or anything just really a, the best fight you'll ever see um <laughs> so yeah i need to clean this up because it's really dirty and stuff um, so i can get some good content in here my hair is too straight what the hell keep you out here too long because it's kind of loud my my husband I've kissed him a few times already there's a lot of penis and breasts as well, which is, I don't know, depends what you like. Penis, breasts, another fireplace. If anyone's ever mean to me, this is where I'll cook you and eat you. Yay, cannibalism. Humpty Dumpty, sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, Humpty Dumpty ended up in my garden. Ah! It's where all the performances happen. I also pick this thing here. 
box in the back. And then I also um, practice my dancing, my royal wedding. My uh, other bodyguard, his name's Timothy. Timothy number two. They look after me and keep me safe. Ah, uh, and then this leads into the um. In a minute, it's the torture chamber because it's where I do my yoga. But it's my library, really. Okay, this lens isn't the best because it gives a really low and it's like a small angle, so you can't see things in perspective. But this is my library. Um, I'll give you a little tour. But these are my jelly cats and some gaming little gaming got from the reckoning be reckoning sorry um, i've got some plants they're not real because i can't even look after myself let alone plants i've got isabel on the chair and then i've got some more books on my xbox over here like gaming merch genshin impact candles we've got some classic indie films because classic yes hollywood mm. um then we have special editions of emma which is oh it's so nice i got this in cornwall um, I'm going to reread that. It's one of my favourite books ever. We've also got special editions of Wizard of Oz and Pinocchio, which these are frigging stunning. Like, look, look at them. Just, oh my God, what a, oh, they're just beautiful. Like, I want someone to read them to me so I can fall asleep in a lovely slumber. We've also got Disney Storytime collections. I've not had them read to me in a hot minute. Um... We've also got lock and key and then just like some self-help books. I haven't really made a start to those, so currently still in need of a little bit of help. Then we have like my gaming guide. This is really rare. It's one of the Genshin art books. Um, then more uh, non-fiction. And then again, more along here. It's mainly horrendous reading, to be honest. Then we have some sick graphic novels, um, really, really wonderful graphic novels, I should say. If you're not a fan of Junji Ito, then I don't know what you're doing with your life, but if you're into horror, this is what's up. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> it's the best thing that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> then I got this as a gift, and then this is a gift. And a salt lamp, you're not actually meant to lick them, but sometimes I do. Um, so basically, this here is where I read, just here, and, and then I do yoga on the floor here, and stretching. So yeah, I use my stretch routine here, and then yoga mat here. Um, I'm going to change cameras in a minute, so you get a better perspective of everything. Also, we've got a little fireplace, and then look at all the beams. They're so nice. Quickly now, little kitchen area um pantry this will be my living room but i have not got a sofa and i still need to like clear everything out but <laughs> yeah it kind of looks haunted i love it and um, the bathroom we also have this guy he helps you wipe wipe your buttocks and he's very cute upstairs <laughs> okay i'm back hi okay hi i'm back um my camera lens broke so i'm gonna show the upstairs of my house but first of all yeah, I said I was going to tell you about like the struggles of how I've been feeling. So obviously, <laughs> my hair is ridiculously straight. Obviously now I'm living in this cottage and I'm living quite far away from where I lived before. Like nearly an hour and everyone assumes that I live in London, which is really weird because I hate London, to be honest. <laughs> I just, it's just too busy and it's too much like bleh. Um, I do have some nice times in London, but I just don't, I'm not, I'm not a big fan, you know, I like the country, I like the quiet. So I, I was struggling on like leaving my house when I first came here. I just didn't want to leave the house and like even now I thought of leaving the house on my own. It's just really weird because I'm not used to the area. So I'm like too used to being inside. So it's really weird. Obviously I do leave the house. Leaving it on my own and going for walks on my own is just really weird and scary. I had like a few meltdowns because I felt like I wasn't getting used to living in this house and I felt, as I said, like, I don't really feel alone normally. I feel like I'm happy to be alone. But for some reason, I felt this really weird sense of overwhelming loneliness being here. But I didn't actually want people, a lot of people to come around. I didn't want to be around people. I just felt like an overwhelming sense of loneliness. It's just really strange that I felt like that. Um, but yeah, I'm getting used to the house now and everything's getting better. Why do my dogs smell like they're upstairs? Diesel! Diesel! My dogs? Okay, they're here. 
My dog sounded like they were outside. Come on, maybe. Um, anyway, yeah, the dogs are really used to this house. They actually really like it and they feel really comfortable in this house, um, which is really nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to give you a little tour of upstairs. Here we have got the bedroom. So, yeah, it's quite big. I can't really show you how big it is, but... So everyone used to think I was tall, sorry. Now I feel like there's better perspective because I'm not the size of my door. Normally I was like the size of my door in my other house. But yeah, so Sky, this is weird that it says this swear word, but I'm watching this really weird documentary. So Sky actually gifted me this TV. Um, it's a Sky Glass and it's pink. Getting ready for autumn already. Got a little dressing table. This was all second hand, or this was second hand. Um, yeah, I got this little cute bed as well also uh these were a gift and they're really cute got an ensuite bathroom that's not we i got hair oil on it okay this is the corridor it's kind of giving the shining <laughs> uh the bathroom very cute and then this is my little room it's gonna be really cute and it's just a really mess at the minute but soon it'll be sorted out this is where I keep anyone that is mean to me. Um, and then we've got the gaming room. So the gaming room is lovely. It's a bit of a mess right now. But yeah, I'll give you a proper tour once it's done. Um, this is my little snuggle seat, my little blind, my games and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. I've got a lot more room for activities, which is great. We've also got like my gumpla and stuff. We've got me here. And then this is all going to be like really beautiful and set up soon. I'm gonna put some more things on the wall. I'm gonna extend the desk here. It's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna to have to head out now and pick up some of my HyperX peripherals and then we're gonna check them out here and maybe we'll explore some of the area today or something and then do a workout. Probably just gonna be a house day today. I kind of just wanna chill with you guys in my house. I hope you don't mind. Um, it's gonna be cozy, but yeah. That's my house tour so far. Out you go, come on, out. Out! Mommy loves you, but you got to get out. Come on, out! <laughs> he doesn't want to get out! Diesel, come on! Out! <sighs> come on! Diesel, come on, out! I've actually got a stream tonight, um, and I fly away um, for work on Monday. <laughs> so, lots to do. Ready! By the way, before going, I just realised that this wasn't a fake door. There's another fake door here, and I have no idea what's in here. No, I'm actually, this is so spooky. It goes all the way down to there and I'm not sure. I don't want the door to shut. I'm just gonna zoom. I think it's just rubbish. This, does this light work? It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, there's cobwebs everywhere. I'm literally. Okay, so I've got a place to store things here. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go and explore the area. Okay, so I found a spot. Um, I can actually hear people, so I'm probably not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna do a little explore and then go home and then do some gaming and some coloring. I've also got some peripherals to show you, but yeah. I've also stung my leg and I've got razor burn. Great. It's actually not that pretty here. Should have found a better spot. I kind of just like being out in nature where it's quiet and I can hear all the birds. Also, I quite like foraging for food as well. Delicious. Here is a bee in their natural habitat. It's kind of beautiful really, isn't it? I feel like as humans, we destroy everything around us. Some Genshin flowers. I don't know why, but these leaves remind me of Christmas. I love Christmas. Um, I love Santa. I can't wait to sit on his knee and tell him what I want for Christmas. It's a very furry. I kind of feel like something would be living inside. Look. Hello. I swear I can hear somebody. Oh, more berries. Would you like some? They're delicious. I'm looking at the sky. I love the sky. There's something so free and when I look up at it, it makes me feel good. And also I think about people that I've lost and how happy they are up there. There is somebody here. Look. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> Very cute. Look how pretty the sky is. Look. It's weird to think that in 24 hours I'll be in the sky. Ooh. Going to a different country. Anyway. Anyway, I think 40 minutes has passed. I'm lying here contemplating things. I'm, I'm ready to go. I have no idea where it could be. But I'm, oh, found it. I'm flying tomorrow and um I just I, I I don't like the the pre-flying it makes me really stressed out when I, when I fly when I fly I have to pack everything in the world that makes me feel comfortable and I get really worried that I'm gonna forget something I just really feel stressed out today I hate it like I'm meant to be going to London tomorrow and then catching my flight in the morning but I just feel so stressed out. I might just, oh, I just might have to do, I might just have to go in the morning of my flight so I'm not stressed out. But look at my necklace. Look at this cutest little gift in the world. Uh, she is my second favorite Sanrio character. Also, I'm just gonna have a cozy rest of the day before my stream. But I've got this wish list item that I'm gonna open. It has come with a, a gift, a gift note. It says, oh, it's from Dustin. He said, enjoy your gift. I know I'm late. Here's a half forming gift. Hope your days are as bright as the sunset. Oh, it is so lovely. And what is it? No, no way. No way, no way, no way. It's a little bed quilt. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Dustin. Um, um, I'm going to put this on top of my bed and then I'm going to change it when I get back from um, going away. But anyway, um, I just want to show you a few bits here actually. So I have been testing out different peripherals here and there. And I am really, really impressed with the HyperX stuff because I tried them when I went to the W Hotel and I was blown away. So I'm gonna unbox a few of these things. I'm probably gonna open this up and put on the pudding caps and open this my cup, I think, today and then the rest I'll do when I'm ready. But yeah, I'm really, really happy about these. So I'm gonna get started. Honestly, they're so, oh, the quality is amazing. I never really thought that this quality was possible. Um, everything I've got is super plasticky. But honestly, like, this is friggin' unreal. Yeah, I like that I can customize the keycaps because you all, Got you guys know that I do love black, but also I'm a fan of white and pink too. I think there's actually a tool um, which you get with them, which is this thing here. I'm sure. This is how I have put it, because you're gonna ask me why I've left some of them black. Well, this makes sense because it's WASD. I think escape's quite important. Volume down, that's obviously the volume up and then that's mute. We've also got play and skip, and then we've got the brightness and then F11, just because it reminds me it's like F1, F2, always F11. This quality is just crazy. Quality is just unreal, and you've also got these things on the back here. This isn't an ad, by the way. Um, so I feel like I'm either going to use this for my portable setup or put it as my main setup and like see how the backlight looks and I'll probably show you in my next vlog. Right now we're going to then open, because it's so late I'm probably going to install this off screen and post pictures on my Instagram and stuff. But this mic is stunning. Really quite a big uh, mic, it's not really heavy though which is good. And um, you can see it's got the HyperX really subtly there. 
and it actually lights up looks like this. So again, I really slump the time, so I'm probably gonna do this um, off the vlog, but you can just literally just put it there and use it. And I think it's just so pretty, I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to mount this. The fact that it's white as well, love that. Yeah, the other stuff I'll show you later on, I don't really want to overwhelm you with um, things. Now I just want to get cozy and just have a little decompression time before I start my stream. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to close the vlog, but I think I want to colour for a little bit. Maybe play some cozy games, so let's go. Okay, so when I'm in one of these moods, I just have to calm myself down and like not overthink it. I know it sounds silly that I'm being so like frantic about traveling, but I just hate like the whole before process. Um, the only thing that's charged right now is my switch. Uh, I'm gonna charge my Steam Deck um, and put 2K on it for the traveling actually. Probably gonna take my Steam Deck over my switch. Kind of feel like I've not given my switch some love in a minute um and i kind of want to get back into zelda um so we are going to play some tears of the kingdom for a little bit and then possibly color i'm kind of still near the start so i want to really spend the day just rest of the night just playing a bit of this i think <sighs> honestly i always get so scared when he dives or swims because I've got hardly any stamina. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so I've been playing that for about half an hour. Um, I'm not gonna do actual coloring, coloring because I'm really cozy here. And either watch cartoons. I'm really obsessed with Gabby's Dollhouse. I know I'm a grown up, but who says we have to grow up and do things? Like, sorry, not it's not for me. I also like to color on this app colour by number, paint by number, it's really nice. And the cuddle. I gave him a wash today and he was really annoyed at me but he smells so good now. Please I'm trying to colour. <laughs> Come on then. The thing that I've decided to play this because you can play it with one hand. Actually you can't. Okay so all you have to do literally is just tap the I guess we're not colouring. I'm gonna hug Diesel for a little bit and then I'm probably gonna do some colouring in. But I just wanna say thanks for watching my vlog. I know it was pretty all over the place. It's kind of just been like a cozy little vlog. Me getting used to my house and my surroundings. Uh, as I said, I am feeling a bit stressed out. I'm just like, goodbye guys.